I recently went to Hawke's Bay and talked to a lot of Apple producers there as I covered the consumer staples sector. Um, it's a good insight to get information into what's happening in Hawke's Bay with Apple producers. Now a lot of these farmers have lost their orchards in the flood event last year. It's a good insight, you know, again, to see how these farmers are replanting or even exiting as a lot of them are family based and, and retiring. It takes about three to five years to get yielding apples. So some of these older farmers are hanging their head up. And so we're seeing a lot of consolidation here. The apple producers and other horticulture um, businesses are struggling but slowly rebuilding the orchards. So this information is useful to triangulate um, those comments from smaller operators to say versus Scales who is one of the largest apple growers in New Zealand and listed on the stock exchange. We also saw Panpack, who is a forest products company based in Napier. Their products include logs, lumber, pulp, um, fibre supplies. Their entire site was underwater from the floods and they are still currently rebuilding 18 months later. So they contribute to a large portion of economic activity in Hawke's Bay and the information they obtained was very useful to triangulate all the information on how the freight industry is doing, the construction activity um, and demand from China in terms of this construction as they ship a lot of the timber products there and how this then flows into a New Zealand economy as well. We also gather information with regards to their relationship with the port and how those pricing dynamics are keeping up. We can then gauge the, the port competition with other ports in the country and we also gain valuable freight industry insights. For example, on how delays and freight times are affecting port operations. These dynamics affect importers and exporters in New Zealand.